Welcome to Tokyo, a city where tradition intertwines with innovation, creating one of the liveliest urban experiences in the world. Tokyo is ever-evolving, brimming with new attractions and unique experiences tailored for each season. Did you know? Japan dominates the list of the world's busiest train stations, with Tokyo being the epicenter of this bustling activity. Leading the way is Shinjuku Station, followed closely by Shibuya and Ikebukuro Stations. Today, we're at Shibuya Station, the world's second busiest, with a staggering 3.24 million daily passengers. In this video, we're exploring Mega Donkey in Shibuya, a place unlike any ordinary Don Quixote store. Known as Mega Donkey, it's Japan's first family oriented discount store, boasting an enormous scale. Here, we'll delve into 20 popular souvenirs that are well known in Japan but may be new to many international visitors. Mega Donkey is just a three minute walk from Shibuya Station. Head towards the famous Scramble Crossing, turn at the corner with the large bookstore sign, and you'll soon see Shibuya 109. Right around the corner from Shibuya 109, you'll find the unmistakable signage of Mega Donkey, with its flashy Don Quixote character and massive building. Let's dive in and explore the wonders of Mega Donkey together. Let's get started. And here we are at the Shibuya Mega Donkey. This place is open 24 7, 365 days a year. It's a massive six-story building, packed with around 80,000 items. The basement floor's got frozen foods, fresh meats, fruits, and ready-to-eat meals. The first floor, right at the entrance, is where you'll find perfumes, color contacts, and seasonal items, like Christmas costumes right now. The second floor is all about food and snacks. The third floor's got cosmetics and clothes. The fourth floor is for branded and apparel items. The fifth floor is your go-to for cleaning supplies, bath items, and party gear. The sixth floor? That's where you'll find electronics, beauty appliances. Alright, let's head up to the second floor. This floor is not just about everyday items, it's a paradise for Japanese snack lovers. Trust me, this is where you'll find all the goodies that tourists go crazy for. I'm going to show you some of the must-buy snacks that are a big hit with visitors from overseas. Plus, I'll share some of my personal favorites, perfect for souvenirs. Lucky for us, it's a weekday morning, and it's pretty quiet right now, a great time to explore without the crowds. You know, the thing about Shibuya Mega Donkey is, even though the building itself is huge, the aisles can get pretty cozy with all the amazing stuff they packed in here. First up on our tour is everyone's favorite, Kit Kat. Here in Mega Donkey, the Kit Kat corner is massive, with an unbelievable variety of flavors. Check this out, Sakura Kinako flavor. It's even got English descriptions. Sakura, or cherry blossom, is a popular flavor in Japan, especially in spring, but Sakura Kinako is quite unique. The combination of savory Kinako, or roasted soybean flour, with the subtle fragrance of Sakura is as popular with tourists as the classic matcha flavor. And there's more, Tokyo Island Lemon, sharp and tangy wasabi flavor, and Ume Shu, a plum wine flavored Kit Kat coated in white chocolate. The luxurious gold lettering really stands out. We can't miss the matcha flavor, either. It's got a prominent display with the best crispy sensation written on the top right. It's a rich matcha taste, common in supermarkets, but a favorite of mine. And check this out, the greedy double flavor, a lavish mix of chocolate and matcha in one. Then there's milk tea flavor. Its cute checkered background and teacup illustration are eye-catching. And let's not forget the classic black chocolate and whole wheat biscuit flavors, familiar sights in regular supermarkets. Next up, we've got another crowd pleaser, Pocky. Matcha flavor is especially popular here. It's so in demand that it's placed right at the entrance on the first floor. You'll easily spot the classic green packaging of matcha Pocky, along with the traditional red packaged ones. Each box contains two packs with about 17 sticks each, perfect for sharing or indulging on your own. 
And there's the strawberry flavor, too. It's a bit thicker than your regular Pocky, with real strawberry bits for an extra fruity punch. Wait, there's more. Check out this unique Amazake flavor Pocky. But hold on, we've found something even more special. The Japan Flavor Tour, Paki. It features nine different flavors, each representing a region of Japan, from Hokkaido in the north to Okinawa in the south. Next up is a snack every Japanese person knows and loves, Alfred. I absolutely adore these, celebrating its 20th anniversary as a bestseller. The classic blue package holds the regular chocolate flavor, where chocolate and whole wheat biscuits come together in a perfect harmony. And don't miss out on the green package, that's the rich matcha flavor. It's a deep dive into the world of Japanese tea, combined with Alfred's signature crunchy biscuit. A true fusion of traditional taste and modern confectionery. Moving on, we've got a jelly treat that's a huge hit with tourists, Hanjak Jelly. This section is just massive, piled high with these delicious jellies. What makes Hanjak Jelly so special? It's low in calories but super satisfying. Rich in dietary fiber that digests slowly, it keeps you full, making it the perfect snack, especially if you're watching your diet. Each jelly is only about 13 calories for a 20-gram serving. It's a popular choice among young women. These jellies come in a smart package that you can squeeze to pop the jelly out, making them super easy and safe for everyone, from kids to seniors, to enjoy. The ever-popular Jagariko, this potato stick snack is a staple in Japan, found in virtually every supermarket and convenience store. It's safe to say that every Japanese person has enjoyed these at least once. There's a variety of flavors available. Here, we spotted the L-size version, which has longer sticks than usual. We also found some unique flavors like wasabi soy sauce and a spicy pizza flavor, marked with red and black packaging that screams, hot. I can personally recommend, Pico Chan's Milky Candy. This classic white milky is all about, no fragrance, no color, just the pure, delicious taste of milk. It's like a taste of home, a true, mom's flavor, in a candy. The red packaging with, milky, written in big letters and the iconic Pico-chan is your sign. Each piece is individually wrapped in adorable, fairy tale-like papers. It's not just a candy, it's a piece of Japanese pop culture, cute, nostalgic, and oh so tasty. Next up, let's talk about Choco Balls, a bite-sized chocolate treat that's a nostalgic favorite. I remember bringing these on school field trips. The first thing that caught my eye here is the matcha flavor in a package that's about twice as big as the regular ones. And it's a Don Quixote exclusive. Above the matcha, there are the three classic flavors, strawberry, caramel, and peanut. Right there in the center, you'll see Kioro-chan, the adorable Choco Ball mascot. A true Japanese classic, Choco Pie. This sweet treat has been around for 40 years, beloved by generations, from grandmas to kids. Imagine a moist cake, sandwiched with fluffy whipped cream, all wrapped up in a smooth chocolate coating. And for those who love variety, there's also a custard cake version. This is a happy turn, a snack that's become a big hit here in Japan. It's not your ordinary rice cracker. Each piece has this bumpy texture and is coated with a sweet powder that creates a deliciously addictive sweet and salty taste. What sets Happy Turn apart is its light and crispy texture, much easier to munch on compared to regular rice crackers. Let's dive into the world of authentic Japanese ramen with Ichiran Ramen, right here in cup noodle form. Ichiran is one of Japan's most famous ramen shops, and this cup noodle lets you enjoy their signature tonkatsu ramen right at home. For those who can't visit the restaurant or just want to relive the experience, this cup noodle is a perfect kick. As we wrap up our tour of this floor, there's one more must-mention treat, Haichu. It's a delightful cross between a gummy and a soft candy, offering the best of both worlds with its chewy texture. Let's head down to the basement floor of Mega Donkey, where an incredible array of food items awaits us. This place is a foodie's paradise, featuring everything from fresh meats and beverages to frozen foods, snack breads, onigiri, bento boxes, and preserved goods. 
but it's not your average grocery store layout. Forget neat aisles, this is Don Quixote style shopping. You'll find great deals stacked in cardboard boxes, colorful and eye-catching displays, and a layout that encourages exploration. First stop in Mega Donkey's amazing world of instant noodles, the cup noodle section. Here, you'll find an incredible variety, from ramen to spicy Korean noodles, yakisoba, udon, soba, and even pad thai. I'm highlighting Nissan Cup Noodles, a household name worldwide. The classic, iconic red cup noodle is the world's first cup noodle ever created. Don't miss out on the blue seafood cup noodle, either. Another popular choice is the yellow curry noodle. Then there's the mystery meat cup noodle. This version is loaded with about four times the usual amount of mystery meat, which, by the way, is pork. Next, let's talk about a perfect souvenir that's both travel-friendly and a taste of Japan. You might be wondering, what exactly is furikake? Well, it's a seasoned powder you sprinkle on top of plain rice. One of the most famous furikake varieties is this one right here. It's incredibly simple yet delicious, made with just sesame seeds and salt. And for those with kids, check out these character furikake packets. They're perfect for children's lunchboxes. Each pack contains 20 small bags, and each bag features fun and colorful characters that kids absolutely love. The Ochizuk section, tucked away just beneath the furikake area. Classic favorites like salmon ochizuk and umeboshi pickled plum ochizuk are famous for their simplicity and comforting taste. A link to a past where the simple act of pouring tea or hot water over rice created something truly special. And now, we've arrived at the final area I'll be showcasing in this video, the third floor of Mega Donkey. This floor is all about beauty and wellness. You'll find an extensive range of cosmetics, skincare products, face washes, perfumes, hair care items, medical supplies, health foods, and even baby products. And, oh, there are even some flowers hanging around. First up on this floor, we've got something that really stands out, can you guess what it is? This is a steam eye mask, a real gem for those looking to unwind. There's also something similar for your feet. The steam eye mask is designed to gently envelop your tired eyes in the surrounding area with comforting warmth. Developed with the hard-working lifestyle of many Japanese in mind, this eye mask has gained immense popularity here in Japan. It's not just a hit locally, tourists often pick these up as souvenirs. Moving on, we've come across an essential beauty item, yes, face mask. Tucked away in the back, the variety here is just overwhelming. It's almost too much to choose from, right? I often check reviews before shopping for the latest types of masks. Out of this vast selection, I've picked two must-tries for you. First up is the rice mask. This mask promises skin as soft and plump as freshly cooked rice. It's in a tube, so you'll apply it directly to your skin. There's also a separate sheet mask version available. We have the Sake Lee's Kasu mask right beside it, also in a tube. This one's aimed at brightening your skin and reducing dullness. After washing it off, your skin feels moisturized and bouncy. Now, we've moved on to the medical products section, and I've got a standout item to show you. It's the Muhi patch, with the recognizable Anpanman packaging. In a nutshell, it's an itch relief patch. These patches are especially great for kids who might scratch too much and worsen their skin irritation. The sunscreen section. Japanese sunscreens are renowned for their high performance, and they've become increasingly popular overseas. They cater to a wide range of needs, from tone-up effects to formulas that can be washed off with soap, and even gentle options for sensitive skin. Out of this impressive lineup, I've picked two can't-miss products for you. First, let's talk about this blue sunscreen. It's marketed for its amazingly light feel. What does that mean? It has a hydrating, non-greasy texture that spreads easily on the skin. The second recommendation is this gold spray type sunscreen. I've been loyal to this one for a long time. It's exceptionally effective at preventing sunburn. The label highlights several features. It can be washed off with soap, it's safe for hair and scalp, and it's waterproof. With all these benefits, it's hard to find any fault with this product. 
I want to share a personal recommendation, something that might surprise you, a nail clipper, priced at 1,400 yen. While you can find nail clippers in any 100 yen shop, this isn't your ordinary clipper. In Japan, we take pride in the high quality of our everyday items, and this nail clipper is no exception. As we wrap up our tour, I'm excited to show you our final souvenir pick, socks from the vibrant anime clothing section. These aren't just any socks, they're flat, affordable, and often come in eye-catching designs, making them perfect souvenirs. You'll definitely want to grab a few pairs. Donkey has an incredible variety of socks, featuring characters from well-known anime like Doraemon, Studio Ghibli, Pokemon, and Sanrio. It's so much fun just trying to decide which ones to choose. There's something for everyone, including smaller sizes for kids, so why not grab matching pairs for the whole family? These socks are so appealing that you might end up keeping some for yourself instead of giving them away. Did you find a favorite among the unique and diverse range of products we explored today? Remember, what we showcased is just a glimpse of what this vibrant country has to offer. Japan's diversity and creativity are reflected in the countless items waiting for you to discover them. I hope you found this video enjoyable and informative. We look forward to bringing you more exciting discoveries and fun experiences in our next video. Until then, happy travels and see you again soon.